welcome to another unboxing with Big Mickey B for Ginger. Don't want to be in our voice. We got us a massive box here today. Special delivery from DJ Collectibles, Danny Jazz. You know what I mean when I say massive box? It's a sexy little number. Believe it or not, this entire box contains one item. I have very much been looking forward to this. Set me back 190 squids, I believe, somewhere on their website, and they are sold out yet again because this was a pre order. Anyone who follows my Instagram, or I'm pretty sure I put this in my community posts when I first made the order, will know what's inside. And those that don't, either won't, or maybe I'll put the title as something that tells you what it is. I have not made that decision just yet. Second, the DPD label in the centre is really thick. And the fact it come from DPD, that should tell you it's got some value to it. I purchased this, one, just because I wanted to. It seemed like the, the current popular thing. And additionally, I purchased this so I could take the Wales Comic Con with me and carry around my pops that I want signing and keep them uber skadooba. Santruba, Zabuba, Banuba. Safe. Packaging. Ah, oh, yes, that's the stuff. Now, there were two options for this a three and a six. I went for the six. Ooh, ah. There she is. The Display Vault Extra Large. She's not as weighty as I expected. I thought she was going to be extremely heavy. But that's a good thing, so if I'm carrying this around all day. We gonna to get a little tired. But she is a gorgeous. A display case for four inch Funko Pop figures. Pattern pending. It's lockable and includes a key. So ain't no one gonna be jacking me at Wales Comic Con. That's for damn show. With a real snug fit. So I think the only way to do this is to open her up. Oh, now I can't see the camera. Ugh. Rotate around. <laughs> oh yes, let's right. Let's remove some bubblicious wrap as gently as we can. Obviously, we don't want to risk damage. What's this? Oh, so the keys come with a lanyard. That's all good. Really? Want to get my way like that? Bully. You know, let's just pull it out and try and take it. Oops. There she is. Oh, okay, that's why. Gorgeous, it's like a little briefy case. So let's do a little review of the product whilst we are here. So I like, you know, it's got a nice plastic case. I thought it was a hardened glass, but it's not. But it's still cool. I like that it's got its branding here in the corner. <laughs> is the gorgeousness that is nice so let's have a look see so we've got clasps up top to release this that's, that's quite a thick padding that's quite nice so let's see let's see what kind of a uh, bunko pops we can oh we can get a thank you card so let's see what kind of cases we can store in this. So let's start with basic Funko hard stack. Yep, slips in quite easily. That's not too shabby. So let's test, let's test this one. So we have one of the more rectangular square-ended pop figures hard stacks. Are they any good in this? Right, so one thing we've learnt, this is not designed for pop figures hard stacks. Unfortunately, they are just slightly too big to fit inside of the space. So uh, I'm gonna assume it will be the same for this one. This is a pop shield armor, but we're gonna give it a test and we're gonna see how it fits. Yep, again, Pop shield armor, no good. So, 
One thing we know for certain is with these, we want, unfortunately, the Funko's own brand hard stacks are going to be the only things that are going to fit. So at least now I know what kind of stack I need or stacks I need to get a hold of in order to do this. Hang on, no, that's... Yeah, because look, just if I tilt it up a bit, you might just be able to make out. Even with the lid removed from a pop figures one, it's still too large. Good for protecting the pops, unfortunately, will not fit in these particular stackies. I just want to, have we got any others? Any other rounded top one? I don't think I have ever. Up here, these will do. <laughs> There we go. Let's see. So I'll tell you, I'll put that one in the center. Right. It'll take. I'll be taking too long if I was to put too many in right now. But so let's so let's just test the closing off function. So nice and snug. Let's see how shake it a bit for stability. Yep, they are definitely well in there. I like it. I like it. I like here as well. It's got these hinges on the back. So if you wanted to display it on the wall and hang it up, it has the ability to hang it up on the wall like that. That's a good way of keeping it out of you know, displaying some stuff and keeping it out of place until you want to use it again to carry things around. I suppose the only thing left to do is test these keys out. See what the locking functions are like. So is it easy? Hmm. So I'm trying to use the locking function. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but it doesn't seem to be. A, I don't know if it's a specific key for a specific side. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, okay. Had to make it click. So when you twist it, make sure it clicks. And then, yep, yeah, look, as you can see, this one won't release. This one will because I haven't locked it. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So, yeah, once you, once you hear that click, it seems that is right where it wants to be. Let's unlock her. There you go. There's the, there's the release click. Happy days. Overall, eh, that's not bad. That's not bad, 190 quid. I think, I, I personally, I feel like it's slightly overpriced. Just because I, I, I thought this was hardened glass. It's actually like plexiglass. But, it's not bad. It feels like a very solid structure. Now we know what kind of stacks we can fit inside. Just as the basic ones. But you know what? That is... Gorgeous. I can work with that beautifully. So that was everything I had for you on this one, folks. I would, as this is some somewhat of a review, I would recommend this product overall. It feels pretty sturdy. I'm hoping for the best. Happy days. So until next time, folks, stay safe, have a good day, and of course, live that pop fanatic life. I'll see you in a bit.